Dear students and faculty of Computers and Informatics at Suez Canal University, and anyone else who is reading or watching this, I want to congratulate you and the Egyptian people on making your first steps towards rebuilding your country as a democracy. I know it's not an easy road, and there will be obstacles to overcome at every turn, but the goal is in sight, and with dedication and courage you will get there. I share your excitement and hope. But I am not really here to talk about politics. You are enrolled in university to learn many things and the principles of human rights, freedom, justice and democracy are just some of the things I hope you will learn and keep practicing after you graduate. A well-rounded education should also teach you professional skills. Let me tell you some of my own experiences. I am a passionate software developer. In fact, writing computer programs is pretty much the only thing I can do it at all well and it is one of the few things I really enjoy. The other things have to do with my family and raising a kid. How did I get to be a computer programmer? You may find this hard to believe, but until I was about 18 years old, I had never heard of computers. As a high school student, I was tinkering with electronics. I tried to build radios from kits which never worked, so I started building simple digital electronic circuits. I still remember the thrill when I understood how to build one bit of computer memory. That's a flip-flop out of discrete components. Things changed when I went to university. I went to study mathematics, but one of the novelties at the time was a large computer, a mainframe, in the basement of the math building. Actually, the real mainframe was in another part of the city, but to me it made no difference, and I didn't realize how amazing that was at the time. I learned programming in languages with names like Algol, Fortran and Pascal, using punched cards and primitive terminals named teletypes. Those are big motorized typewriters. To make a long story short, I found that I enjoyed programming much more than mathematics and I gradually made a career out of it. There were a few people along, along the way who always encouraged me. A professor who tried to convince me to learn at least some basic theoretical computer science so I could graduate. A few people who gave me jobs where I could program pretty much whatever I wanted. But mostly, I just followed my heart, doing what I like to do best and slowly I got better and better at it. Thank you for listening. Guido van Rossum, inventor of the Python programming language.